Okay, great team effort. Very proud of the guys. I thought some really, really impressive individual efforts by a, a bunch of guys. Um, I thought the guys had a great week of practice, pushed each other, pushed it to make it to the game, a few guys battling injuries, um, and, and they just played really, really hard. Always things to clean up. Uh, totally understand that. But uh, just proud of, of that team, and they're proud of their effort. With that, I'll take any questions. Kevin, do you feel like you guys have turned a corner defensively? We played great football tonight, great defense tonight. Rushing coverage was, was really good. Um, but we just got to keep stacking them. Uh, we just got to, you know, like anything, offense, defense, special teams, we got to give these guys a plan. They can go execute, execute a high level, play fast, those type of things. I thought that was on display tonight. What was the key to getting so much pressure on Burrow? Yeah, I think a, a, a nice game plan by Joe and the staff. I, I thought some of the things that they did really tested their protections and tested some of their uh, uh, line movement, if you will. And then, uh, you know, again, individual effort. Miles was very good. Uh, Kevin did. Well, they, are, they lost three cornerbacks total. Did that change the way that you called the game, even, even with the lead you yeah. were throwing it? No, I mean, we knew that they were down into their depth at, at, at corner. It just we were – it was a three-score lead at, at a – you know, certain point as well. Um, so just trying to be smart. Kevin, can you talk about uh, how Miles sort of set the tone? I mean, he kind of set it heading into the game, walking into the game, his yard, I mean, everything, just how he carried that all the way through. The yeah, uh, he had a, uh, <clears throat> you know, he does what 95 does. He, he, you know, was playing dominant out there. He's very difficult for people to block one on one. So he gets a ton of attention. And when, when that happens, others are getting one on ones. And what can you say about the effort you got from Nick Chubb tonight? Uh, yeah, you're the wordsmith. I can't come up with the adjectives, guys. He's a he's a, a special player, special person, great leadership um, throughout the week. Uh, runs so hard. I mean, you know. I, and again, I think Nick's a. You can point out Nick, but I just think individual efforts across the board. Just some of the guys up front, the strain, the finish was really impressive. And how about the? Uh, We've seen it before, but tonight especially it seemed <clears throat> Jacoby and, and Amari, I think he had five catches, 131 yards. Yeah, Amari was, was awesome. Uh, Jacoby was, was seeing it well. Uh, that's a good defense. That's a good rush. Uh, so we, we at times you know, tried to block it up. They did a nice job, um, but found Coop a few times. That catch there at the end was unbelievable. Uh, but uh, really, he's a, Coop is another guy. You're talking about Nick, but Another pro's pro. He, he shows up, gets his work done, uh, leads by example. Did you feel a different kind of resolve? You know, I mean, kind of the division. This was so big for the race and all that. Yeah. I mean, we really do put the blinders on, Marla. So whoever we play next is another big one. And, you know, this is Monday Night Football. And, and to your point, it's a division opponent. So obviously everybody's very excited for, for the matchup in front of our crowd, which, by the way, the crowd was outstanding. Uh, tonight, they really they made a difference. So, uh, but the games themselves, we just know how how every single game's its own season. Kevin uh, Kareem had a, a big night. It was a big part of your success offensively. Forty-two rushing yards, thirty receiving yards. Would you like to see the organization keep him after tomorrow's deadline for the second half? Yeah, of the season? as you can imagine, I don't get into those type of things. I would. I'll tell you, Kareem had an unbelievable run today. He was dead to rights, jumped out of it. Um, huge first down. He, he fights like crazy. He, he's a great, um, you know, part of this team where we, these guys just, whatever's in front of them, they're just, they're, they're fighting like crazy. Can you talk about the way that you just kept, you know, the, the foot on the gas and you just kept coming after it, the way you guys came out in the second half and just kept going? Yeah, I, I think, you know, our defense was playing at such a high level, uh, Mary Kay throughout. Uh, so we're just trying to, on offense, trying to complement what they were doing. So to, Double dip at the end of the half to get the three points and then come back with a touchdown drive, I think, was a, was a big part of that game. And that only happens with complimentary football. Kevin, you've seen how shorthanded you were at the tight end. I lost count of the tackle eligible mm -hmm. plays you ran. You ran a bunch of those, though. Um, just how you just talk about just how effective those guys were coming in and giving you what you needed up Yeah, we just, you know, we knew without Dave, uh, you know, other guys are going to have to step up, Harry and, and Farrow for sure. Uh, and then felt that we could get big at times uh, with, with Michael and, and even James Hudson. So uh, it's always really game plan specific uh, with what you do. But th those guys gave us some really good reps. After the 
Cooper interception mm. and that exotic play? Did mm-hmm. you just say, let's let's just go back to basics here? Yeah, I mean, obviously, when they don't work, Tony, you don't you don't you ask yourself why you called that. But we've had trick plays work before, so uh, we're just trying to to move the ball. Um, they, they made a nice play, 55, was on Amari. Amari said he was trying to throw it out of bounds. He didn't realize how hard that is. Um, so it, it's, uh, it is what it is, again, um, won't stop us from trying to be aggressive uh, in the future. You did feel after that, though, that you intentionally, like, I, I don't want to say change the play calling, but establish the run made that more of a priority. Was that coincidence or was that at all because of that play? You know, it, was, it, it honestly becomes a rhythm of the game at times. Uh, specifically to that point, there were some things that we wanted to get going in the run game. Um, obviously, we wanted to get Nick going, and I think we did. And, and when you start hitting some of those plays, you stay on the field. And I think it, it, a lot of times, when you, if you throw an interception or you, or you don't convert on third down, you, it's hard to get in a rhythm and, and get into those plays where your, your guys are touching the ball. It seemed like some of those uh, individual performances started to be sort of contagious. You know, mm-hmm. Miles may have set the tone, and then others stepped up. MJ had three breakups. Taki um, Taki was unbelievable. I mean, he was all over the field making tackles. Uh, yeah, I think you, you can go up and down the roster. When you get big wins like this and get great team wins, uh, there's always individual efforts uh, that, that you should point out and that we will point out. Uh, but ultimately, uh, the way these guys fight for each other and, and, and the team win is, is what matters. Kevin, yeah, you talked so much about takeaways and they, you hadn't gotten a bunch, but how important were those two that you got early and then you were able to get eight points off this? Yeah, awesome. Uh, you know, we, we want to score touchdowns on all of those. Uh, we, we unfortunately, I think, had a penalty that uh, brought us back, had a holding penalty after the first turnover, which was unfortunate. But we have to, you got to turn those takeaways into points, and, and not seven points preferably. But that's always going to be our mindset. Uh, and, and the more we get, the better. We did think there would be opportunities in this game uh, based on some of the things we were doing, and, and, and they came uh, to fruition. After a really hard four weeks here, just going into the bye with a performance like this, what can that do for your football team? Yeah, I don't know that we need to make grand statements, honestly. We, we came in, did what we're supposed to do, got a win, uh, and then we'll rest up and, and we'll work on the next one. This is, um, could be Brissett's last game against the division team, and they went, he went two and one against them, so is that what you might expect from him? Yeah, I don't, I don't even. You know, go there, Tony. I think with Jacoby, as you know, he's he's the pro's pro. He uh, works really, really hard at his craft. He's a great leader. Uh, played well tonight, and we're going to be continuing to count on him. He's a big part of this team.